Okay, so I'm in my basement here and it's time to sell these fish. I have about 50 Trophius Bamba Orange Flames and five Cynodontis Petrocolas. Love these guys. So the buyer is a 45 minute drive away from me. So I need to prepare these fish for uh, that length of, of transport, about 45 minute drive and I need to make sure that they endure the least amount of stress possible. And so I'll show you what I do to transport them in a way that causes the least amount of stress. So when you're transporting fish, you're battling three things in my opinion. The first thing you're battling is ammonia. The fish get super stressed, they start producing excess waste, and the ammonia concentration builds in the water, which is really toxic to them, and it can burn their gills. The second thing you're battling is temperature changes. Uh, you know, most fish are, people keep are tropical and prefer high 70s, low 80s uh, in terms of Fahrenheit temperature. So you want to prevent the temperature from swinging. And the third thing you're battling is oxygen deprivation. As the fish are stressed and they're swimming around like crazy, their metabolism increases in that the metabolic rate, because they're, they're for lack of a better term, they're exercising and they use more oxygen, just like we would if we were stressed and we were running around a room. And so those are three things that um, you need to consider trying to mitigate if you're transporting fish over a long distance. And this is how I deal with a few of those problems. So this is the uh, Rubbermaid bin that I'm going to put the fish in right here. And I got a little bit of water in there. And that's a huge point of tension is how much water do you put in? Because water is really heavy. You don't want a hundred pounds of water sloshing back and forth in your vehicle, but the more water you have in, the less concentrated the ammonia is going to be. So that's for you to decide. But um, a good thing is lots of more surface area. So if you have more water and shallower, that'll allow more gas exchange. And that's some of the oxygen problem we were talking about. But I always add some Seachem Prime to my water and then the Prime is going to help detoxify the ammonia by converting ammonia to ammonium which is the protonated version of ammonia that NH3 gets another hydrogen proton and becomes NH4 and that is a lot less toxic to the fish so the first thing I do is I add Seachem Prime so what I do to control the temperature is I obviously have a small Eheim heater in here and I have a large air stone uh, with an air pump. Simple enough, right? And then I ha just cut a hole in the lid, feed it through the top here, and then I have it coming off. And I'll show you, but inside my truck, I have a small 300 watt power inverter and it is going to power this thing while I'm on the road. So the water is staying relatively warm. And this air stone is breaking the surface tension, disrupting it, and allowing gas exchange for the fish because the oxygen levels are going down. And it also helps stabilize the pH because as the fish are respiring, they're also giving off CO2, which can form a couple different acids in the water. So you want the CO2 to come off as well. So it's super simple. Something's rattling. It's super simple, but I think it does a lot to keep the stress down on the fish. And for relatively long transports, uh, I think it's a simple but effective way to get that job done. I've got this huge net. It's actually a koi net. And I think it's about 16 inches long. And so to get these fish, I took all the rocks out. They're in a pile right there. And I'm going to try and scoop these guys out and carefully place them in here and get them ready to get out of here. Okay, so here we are. 
about 50 Trophius and five Synodontis Petricola all going crazy in this small amount of water. But we got Heat, we got Seacam Prime, and we have an Air Stone disrupting the surface tension. And hopefully these guys will be in a semi-hospitable environment for the 45-minute drive. I'll show you what this looks like in my truck and then uh, we'll hit the road because this tank is empty and it's time to go. Okay, so here we are in my truck. I got this Ariac 300 watt inverter off Amazon for cheap. I just plugged in here on my uh, power inverter or power point. And then the thing's just sitting here on the seats with the pump on top and uh, and there is the fish, and you can see that the heater is on with the light. So yeah, gonna get this thing going and start the 45 minute drive. 